Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome to another video of uh, question answer with Dr. Zakir Naik. We are a brother, a question, ask a question about the people who are exempted from fasting. Exemption means that uh, watch the video till the last minute and after that we will talk about the video. Can you list or mention all of the different categories of people that are exempted from fasting during the month of Ramadan? There are in total, according to me, 13 categories of people who are exempted from fasting. The first is, if the person is an unbeliever, if he is a non-Muslim. Number two, if he or she is a minor. Number three, if the person is insane. Number four, if it's a lady and she is menstruating, she did not fast. Number five, if she has her postnatal bleeding, she's exempted from fasting. Number six, if she's pregnant, then she's exempted. Number seven, if she's breastfeeding, she's exempted. Number eight, if the person is ill or is sick, he or she is exempted. Number nine, if the person is disabled. Number 10, that if the person is very elderly, has reached a very old age. Number 11, if the person is traveling. Number 12, if the person is taking part in jihad or a fight in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number 13, under compulsion. Under compulsion, if someone forces and if the person doesn't fast, he or she is exempted. These are, in short, the 13 categories in which a person is exempted from fasting. Excellent. Now I think we need to discuss each category on its own merits. Dr. Zakia. Do all of the people that you've mentioned in the exempted categories have to make up their fast later on? Out of the 13 categories which I mentioned, the first three categories, they don't have to make up their fast later on. That is a non-Muslim, that's a person who's a minor, and a person who's insane. Out of the remaining 10 categories, two categories, a person who is disabled for long, and a person who is very elderly. These two people also don't have to make up for their fast, but they have to pay a ransom, the feeding of a poor person for every fast they missed. As far as the other eight categories are concerned, the moment the condition in which they are, it gets reversed, then they have to make up for the fast which they missed. For example, in the eight categories are, the menstruating lady, moment she finishes the menstruation, then she should make up for a fast as soon as possible before the next Ramadan. A woman who is in the period of postnatal bleeding, the moment it gets over, she has to fast. If a lady is pregnant, the moment the pregnancy gets over and the postnatal bleeding gets over, then she has to fast. If a lady, the fourth category, if she's breastfeeding, after the breastfeeding is over, then she has to fast. Or a person who is sick, the moment he gets healthy, he or she has to fast. Similarly, a person who's traveling, moment he finishes his traveling, he has to fast. And a person who's taking part in jihad, fighting in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, moment the fight gets over, he or she has to fast. Similarly, a person who's in compulsion and is not fasting, the moment the compulsion is removed, he or she has to fast. But naturally, all these have to be done before the next Ramadan. What's your thoughts on children fasting the month of Ramadan before they get to the age of puberty. As I mentioned earlier, it is not compulsory for a child who has not reached the age of puberty to fast. It's not compulsory. They're exempted. As the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, there's hadith in Tirmidhi, hadith number 1423, our beloved Prophet said that the pen has been lifted up from three categories of people. A child until he reaches puberty, a sleeping person until he wakes up, and a person who's insane until he becomes of sound mind. So these three categories of people, the beloved prophet said, that the pen has been lifted, that means it's not obligatory on them to fast. Same as prayer, also they aren't obliged. But it's good to encourage our children to fast as early as possible, though it's not compulsory. And there's a hadith which is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1960, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad he tells the people of Ansar, 
He sends a messenger and tells them to inform that those who are fasting, they should continue fasting. Those who are not fasting should fast till the end of the day. And after that, the people, the Sahabas, they said, we fasted and we even asked our children to fast and we took them to the masajids. And if they cried, we gave them toys of wool so that to keep themselves busy till the time of iftar. That means this is how the Sahabas, they encouraged the children to fast at an early age, though it was not compulsory. And this is a good habit. But many a time that we see nowadays that many of the parents, they discourage the children from fasting. Even if the child is enthusiastic and says, I want to fast, many parents say, at this young age, it's not required, don't fast. They fail to realize that fasting at a young age will not cause them any harm. In fact, it will give them a training to fast when they reach puberty. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Tahrim, chapter number 66, verse number 6, Ya ayyu lazina amanu, O you believe, save yourself and your families from the torment of hellfire, whose fuel is men and stones. Allah is reminding the people that don't only save yourself, even your children from the hellfire, whose fuel is men and stones. So it is good to encourage our children to fast at an early age. And that's what we do in the school that we are running, the Islamic International School. We encourage them to fast at an early age, even when they are in junior kg or in senior kg, at the age of four, five, six, we encourage them. And at this age, the age of four, five, six, we say that the person who fasts the maximum in the class will get a gift, will get a reward. And that encourages them. And when they reach standard first, that is approximately the age of six, Alhamdulillah, most of the children fast the full month. And by the time they reach standard third, that's about seven, eight years, almost all of them fast the full month of Ramadan. That's not compulsory. So Alhamdulillah, and when they see other children fasting, imagine most of the parents, they tell them that, oh, it's not required, but the children, they force that we want to fast because of competition, mm -hmm. because of seeing their friends, all of them fasting. So if they don't fast, they feel ashamed. Though it's not a farad on them. But the atmosphere you create, we don't tell them it is farad to fast. But the atmosphere of competition, the atmosphere of loving each other and loving the religion, loving Allah and His Rasul. So in this way, Alhamdulillah, like it is said in a hadith, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said, mentioned in Tirmidhi, that when a child reaches the age of seven, we should teach him to offer salah. And at the age of 10, you can even use force. So that means scholars say, you can do the same thing even for fasting. But we start at a much earlier age, but it is not force that we use. We use love, affection, and gifts and rewards. And Alhamdulillah, it has a tremendous effect on the children. Oh, that's beautiful. Next question, very important one. One of the categories you've mentioned an insane person is exempted. Uh, why is this? The insane person is exempted because the same hadith that I quoted earlier, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in the hadith of Tirmidhi, hadith number 1423, that the pen is lifted from three categories of people. A child till he reaches puberty, a person who's sleeping till he wakes up, and a person who's insane till he becomes a sound mind. So this the Prophet has exempted, and they are free from fasting. The reason is because one of the criteria for the fasting to be accepted is niya, is intention. And intention can only be made by a person who's sane, who's sound in mind. Only if he's sound, can he willingly intend to fast. If he's insane, he cannot. So that's the reason if an insane person, whether he fasts or not, it doesn't make a difference at all. It is, he's exempted. And once he becomes sane, he does not have to compensate also for the fast he has made because he's not responsible for that. He's not held responsible. So that's the beauty of Islam. They only held responsible those people who should be held responsible. Uh, welcome back, friends. The brother asked question about the people who are really exempted from the Ramadan. Exemption means that the person uh, who are not obligatory to keep the fast of Ramadan. So it's very simple. The person who are kid, who are not adult, this person is exempt from the Ramadan, from the keep fasting in the month of Ramadan. The second one is mentally distemper person, mentally disordered person. The third one is non-Muslim. The fourth one is ill. If you are ill, 
so then you are not allowed to keep fast uh, in the holy quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that for man kana minkum marizan aw ala safarin faiddatum min ayyamin ukhar it means that when you are ill or when you are in the travel so for that duration you have to skip the fast and you have to keep the fast next time when you become fulfilled uh, ready for the fast uh if you if the if a girl or if a woman is pregnant and if the fast give him loss his uh, health or if it give a very harm to his pregnancy so this woman also doesn't allow to keep fast it means that she is also exempted from the ramadan uh, the same thing is apply on a peop- uh, on the women which uh, have been uh, in their periods uh there are very special words for the uh, periods uh, i didn't uh, remember at that time but when the woman passes through their periods uh in the month in month there are five or six days the woman pass through the period so in that time the woman doesn't allow to keep fast so she is also exempted from the ramadan so uh, there are uh, uh discuss uh, i have discussed uh, five or six people the different kind of people that are really exempted from ramadan except that all the muslim which are adult and his mind setup is good is there is no mental disorderment there is no disease if there is no travel so this person must have obligatory to keep fast in the holy month of ramadan i hope you enjoy the video if you like the video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends